Today we talked about the Disney dining plan. I know it's a hot topic for a lot of Disney guests. Check out our recent Facebook Live video whether or not the Disney dining plan is right for you. There we go. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to make Facebook Live. We're going to wait for a few more people to come in. How's everyone doing? No, I can't press that. There we go. Works for me. Sometimes the dining plan does. When we went in December, um, we saved over $700 with the dining plan. When we went in August, um, the dining plan would have cost us an extra $100 out of pocket. So it wasn't a good idea in that time. So, yeah, so we're going to be talking about that today. Uh, so first of all, how do you get the dining plan? Uh, it's actually pretty easy. In order to get the dining plan, you have to stay at a Disney resort. Uh, there's really no if, ands around that. You don't have to get the dining plan when you're making your initial reservation. You do have, between the day you make your reservation and six days before you check in in order to make the purchase. So that gives you plenty of time for yourself and your travel agent to get together and decide what is best for your family financially uh, and otherwise. <clears throat> now how much a Disney plan costs really depends on uh, your family makeup. Everyone in the room has to have the dining plan. So you can't just get it for two of yas and then two others get it, uh, get their meals out of pocket. So when you make your reservation, when you do your uh, room selection, if someone doesn't want it, have them in a separate room or book them separately and have tickets only for them. Um, and in terms of how the Disney dining plan works, it's actually super easy. Everything is linked to, I'm pressing my imaginary magic band. Uh, everything is linked to your magic band. So you don't even need to take anything into the parks. Uh, Disneyland Paris is a little different in that they give you a paper voucher. Um, but Walt Disney World is a lot um, further advanced, I guess, that way. And everything is taken care of for you. When you go into My Disney Experience, it'll actually tell you how many credits you have left in your table service, in your quick service, as well as uh, how many snack credits you have left. And if your uh, mug has been um, purchased or not, well, purchased, taken. So everything is taken care of for you. And every time you swipe your magic band at the point of purchase, they will, um, they will uh, take it off there right for you. When you go to a quick service um, or even getting a snack, you are going to want to remind them that you want to use your uh, your credits just in case they um, they charge you cash and you can't really fix that after that. If you can, it's it's kind of a pain. All right, sorry, I'm being given things. Okay. Do we have any questions so far before we get into the nitty gritty of the dining plan? No? Cool. So is the dining plan right for you? Like I said, we have um, mixed feelings regarding the Disney dining plan. Uh, sometimes it is good for your family and sometimes it um, takes a little bit too much planning in order to make it work for you. And I like to make my vacations um, as stress-free as well as budget-friendly. Hi, Laura! As well as budget-friendly as possible. So it doesn't always mean cheapest, because cheap is not always the best way to go, and uh, super expensive is not always the way to go. 
All right, so I'm gonna use our two vacations as the main example. Um, and feel free to come in with your own examples if you have any questions. So at Christmas, we went as a family of four uh, for seven nights, so eight days. And I wanted to do as many character meals as humanly possible. Like how many I can fit in to seven nights, I was gonna do it. Uh, we didn't have any rest days because of the way that we had planned our, our holiday. You can see all that um, on the blog. We have our, our schedule written up there. And because we were having so many character meals, um, it made sense to get the dining plan. We got the standard, uh, the middle tier, one table service uh, a day, one quick service a day, and two snacks. During that time, we did more breakfast than we did lunch and dinner uh, for table service. And most bloggers, including myself, would say that breakfast is not the best use of your dining credit. I mean, it's still, it's still pretty amazing, but it is the cheapest of the three meals. That being said, our least expensive character breakfast was still $150. Um, and our littlest is four, so you know she's not eating a whole lot, right? And the idea was we don't want to wait in line meeting characters, so we went to meals where we could see Ariel and Rapunzel and Mickey and Minnie, and I don't have to wait in line during the day. We just jump on all the rides and skip that. So with, with that in mind, we did um, the majority of character breakfast. We did one character lunch, Tusker House, and two, two, I'm going to say two, character dinners. And we ended up spending uh, $1,400 on, on paper, mm -hmm. spending $1,400 on paper um, at table service restaurants. Now, keeping in mind for seven nights, that's we spent fifteen nineteen plus tax on the Disney dining plan, and fourteen twenty seven went to table service. So even though we were still using it on the least expensive par, uh, meals of the day, we still had a hundred dollars left of. Disney dollars to say for quick service lunch or dinner and two snacks plus a free mug. All right. So when you look at the math that way, like I mentioned before, we saved over $700 on this holiday by using the Disney dining plan. But that was because I wanted to use and abuse this plan. I wanted to get as much money out of this, out of this plan as I possibly could without driving myself nuts. We did not go into each restaurant. You have to order the filet mignon. You have to order the steak. Kids have to have the lobster. Like we didn't plan that much. I just knew I want that restaurant. It's a little bit more expensive. That one's going to be credit. That restaurant is the cheapest. We're going to pay out of pocket for this one. Cause I honestly, I got a little out of hand and I booked more restaurants than we had credits, but you know, that's another day. Um, so in terms of that, our Christmas holiday was how to save the most money on your dining plan. Now, when we went in August, it was just the two of us. We went for the opening of, uh, galaxy's edge. So that was, that was amazing. We went to docking bay for breakfast and for lunch. We went to Oga's like we just did whatever, whenever we wanted when it came time for dinner. Hey, what's open. Right. And there was so little planning in terms of where we're going to eat and what snacks I wanted. We counted when we came home and even the quick service dining plan would not have worked in our favor. So there is a little bit of a little bit of planning that you have to do in order to make everything work for you. 
um, when, <clears throat> I don't know if I've mentioned this before, um, or a hundred million times before on, on Facebook, uh, but I am a newly registered travel agent specializing in Disney planning. I figure if I'm going to be planning everyone's holiday for the last two years, might as well make it official, right? So a lot of my clients, when they call me, they say, do I want the dining plan? I don't want the dining plan. It's too much money. Personally, this might change when I get more clients, but personally, I'm telling everyone, let's just wait and see. Let's book everything. Find out what restaurant you want to go to. Find out how much everything is going to cost. And then we'll decide what is best for your pocketbook. We have one client, I told her, the difference between a dining plan and not a dining plan is one table service restaurant. That is going to make or break the plan for her. So at the end of the day, we're now looking at her schedule. Um, it's on hold right now because, of course, everything is on hold right now. Uh, but right now, we're kind of deciding, do we want to add that extra, that extra meal? Where are we going to add it? How much exactly is this going to save? Um, so the dining plan is not yes or no, like a lot of people um, would like to believe. It's always a maybe. It really, it honestly depends. And as a blogger, that is the worst answer you can give anybody is, yeah, it works sometimes. No, it doesn't work other times, right? But that's that's the truth for pretty much everything at Disney. Uh, park hopper tickets, it depends on who you are. Um, staying on site is, is always a yes. Um, but the Disney dining plan is definitely depends on who you are. Um, so other than that, I think I've covered a lot of the Disney dining plan. Um, they've introduced a new one. I actually really like it. The Disney dining plan plus. It's halfway between the standard dining plan, which is one table service and one quick service, and the deluxe, which is three meals wherever you want, right? But that's a ton of food. So the dining plan plus is you get two meals wherever you want. So it could be like two table service today, two quick service tomorrow. Obviously, it costs more than the standard plan. So your money is best spent at having more table service meals than quick service meals. So again, it really depends on the kind of traveler that you are. Um, I don't think I'd have to go back and like relook at um, how we ate and how it's Disney math, right? It's not the same as regular math. Um, look at the numbers and see if my Christmas holiday would have benefited from this plan and how I can recreate um, a holiday benefiting from this type of plan where you make um where you save the most money um but if anyone has used it since it came out i would love to hear your opinion on that um, and also the way that we saved the most money was skimming on our quick service um meals because the four-year-old doesn't eat a whole lot every quick service we only ordered three meals and she shared either with her brother or she shared with me. Um, and that was really the best way to get, to make our one quick service feed us for the whole day. Because at the end of the, 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 end of the uh, seven nights, we ended up having X number of quick service credits left over. And then now we can eat um, another three meals for free and such, right? But now they've made it that it's divided between kids meals, kids credits, and adult credits. So you're, I mean, you can still do it. It just really depends on how, how hungry you are that day. So we have it, sorry, my face is just itchy right now. So I'm thinking about not touching my face, right? Um, kids credits, sorry. Um, you can go and have two adult meals and one kids meal. And the next day you get two kids meal and one adult, right? Like you, it really works best when you have four days plus, um, but you can still do it. Or at the end, however many you've managed to save, one meal is out of pocket as opposed to all four, right? 
it's it's not ideal it's not um, what I've been writing about for the last couple of years so it is going to need to be adjusted a little bit for for the new system but honestly when a kid costs half the price I can understand why Disney would would want to change their system because um, I mean if I'm saving seven hundred dollars in one week and I'm not even trying I can't even imagine how much another family is saving and they're they're obviously gonna want they want your money like that's it's, it's a business so anyways those are the two new things to come out of Disney dining did we have sorry I'm just going to check here. Brian, you can't even imagine how much I know the family. Nope, that's not what I wanted to press. Nope, still not what I want to press. They want your money. Like, that's it's, it's. No, okay, so I can't see comments. No, I don't want in there. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so if there's no other questions, I've been rambling on for the last 20 minutes. So I have a giveaway, just like I promised. So, here it is. We, we, he, the blog, went on a business trip to Disney, because that's a real thing. We're bloggers, it's a business trip. We weren't having fun, I promise. And he was there for the opening day of Mickey's Runaway Railway. And arrived at four in the morning got in line before um, before the parks even opened. He did the whole shebang. And he came home with a present for everybody. Ta-da! Can everyone see it? There we go. A Mickey's and Minnie Runaway Railway Pass Holder 2020 t-shirt. So if you guys want to win an exclusive t-shirt, because he went later that day, to buy more because I asked him for more because one is not enough uh, there were none left and since Disney closed shortly after it opened I don't know how many of, if these shirts are well I would imagine that they're coming back when they're coming back I don't know so I have a shirt to give away so all you need to do is if you're not following us on Facebook follow us on Facebook I'm gonna put up a link follow us on Instagram and then come back and say you did. I'm going to give you a number. And at the end of tomorrow night, I'm going to raffle. The kids are going to help me. And we're going to pick a winner who's going to get this amazing t-shirt. Now, it is a size medium, but it is a generous medium. So you don't have to worry about that. There are no kid sizes. I was very disappointed that they didn't have children sizes in this. Um, I've honestly never looked for children's sizes in pass holder before until now. So um, that was that was a thing. I mean, children can be pass holders too. They want shirts. Um, anyway, so there's that. And if this goes well, we're going to keep doing lives every Saturday until uh, we're allowed to leave the house. And we have more shirts and we have mugs and we have, I have a lot of extra stuff lying around that I would love to give away and I'm sure he would love to give away. The less I have in here right now, the more I can go back and refill it in November. So again, follow us here on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, tell me you did it and we're going to do a live giveaway with the kids tomorrow night. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and thank you for joining us. Bye.